Okay, I showed you one kind of pastels, which they look like this, or we got these ones are just thicker. This size here, and they're really soft. So these lines here, just an example. When you're putting it on, you have to blend it in. Really good. And you might have to do a few layers as well. Okay, so just a very quick example. But this, it's going to be kind of like an abstract art idea. And um, um, the point is that it doesn't really matter what it looks like. And just following in the lines that you created on a piece of paper is kind of the idea so okay so I just filled in one of the lines and as you can see it's super messy what you want to do when you're doing that because it's so soft is that you want to press that in okay and so you kind of press the pigment into the paper and then you want to go outside and blow the rest off and then you might want to add another layer on top and then also what you do, I'm just going to pause, I'll show you. You spray it with a final fixative, which means that it's not going to come off after. It's not going to go on your clothes or anything, it's just going to stay on that paper. And then also, it creates this glossy finish, which is really cool. So here's an idea. Okay, I just want to show you with the other soft pastels, the Artist Loft, uh, that you can also do it with that. One. I'm just trying to figure out what color. I'm going to choose this color to go on the side with the other one here. But you can also do the same thing. It's also a soft pastel color as well. It's a little harder though compared to the other ones, but the other ones are more expensive and these ones would work just as fine. Same idea though, right? He's going to press it down. And yes, it might go over lines, and then after what you would do is go over with the black line again. And the final thing would be spraying it with this stuff here. Also, you want to do that outside, an adult can do that. pigment into the paper and as you can see it's super messy right now I'm gonna dust that off outside use a chalk pencil so just a really fine uh, line it, what else? you can outline um, your lines here with a black chalk pen see that I don't know if you can see it from that distance I'll try and do some here and it really makes a big difference there and just kind of continue that all the way around following the line that you already created from the start. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just follow the line. You can use 
things. Um, one of these color shaper for um, pastels. So instead of using your finger, it's um, you can use this. Won't get as messy. I'm trying not to zoom in. There, it's kind of rubbery, hard. Um, finger does work better, I find, but for things like fine lining and you want to press that ink, that color, then this is good. So, good little tool. I'm sure you can use a Q-tip, right? Something else. That would work too. But this one you can just wipe off and use again. It's a handy little tool for sure. And as you can see, the black outlining makes a huge difference. I think it looks awesome. Also, another really good idea when working with pastels is I bought one of these here. They're just different colors. As, um, so this is meant for pastels, this paper here, right? There's such a gray tone. All these different colors here, which is really good to work on, or even black or darker. Um, would be really good, like this kind of, with those bright colors looks amazing okay so here is my final I just dusted it off like blew on it quickly and then once you spray it that's the final then okay so once you spray it with this that's it and it creates a gloss on top so I'll show you how that looks after Beautiful. This is what you call abstract art. I've sprayed it with the fixative outside. It has that wet look to it right now. But look at that bright color. Beautiful. It takes a little bit to dry. Like I said, you can do two coats of it. Different background if you wanted to. You could do the back a totally opposite color, or maybe you can even chalk it black. That would look good. Something fun to do. 